Hello, hello, good people, hello. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Tuesday, July 25th, 2017. Okay, so I want to come before you today and tell you something that has been on my mind rolling and rolling and rolling around for a couple of days now. And it's not a new theme, it's not a new perspective, but it just it just keeps bubbling up. So thank you for all who are joining me. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, Mishima. Okay, so um, my team that I work with, I believe in celebrating birthdays. You know, it doesn't have to be a big celebration, but every birthday is important. And actually, hello, Miss Randy. Actually, um, I'm always surprised when a new team member, a new person joins the team and it's the first time somebody has, has celebrated their birthday. Anyway, a couple of things happen on, on the individual's birthday. Yes, we strum up a happy birthday song, but we I always ask for words of wisdom, always without fail, and they know. They just know that you're gonna have to give some words of wisdom, what you've learned over the past year. And so um, this particular teammate said it was it was her birthday and she said a couple of things she said first of all the whole year practically all of 2017 has just been a rough year it's been a very very rough year hello Quran and all who are joining me Patrick um it's been a rough year and so she's learned a lot about humility but this was a thing that stuck with me and just won't seem to let me go in all of its simplicity she said and you know what you never ever know what the next person is going through. You never know what the person right beside you is going through. So be kind to people. She said that and then, you know, we went on with the celebration, but that is so simply powerful. We really don't know what is going on with the person beside us. Don't be fooled with the smile. Don't be fooled with, oh, how you doing? Oh yeah, everything's cool as they go on about their business because those who are in pain often hide it you know in this instant society that we live in okay I'm just gonna go on a not a big rant but I'm gonna go somewhere in our instant society our instant gratification our make me rich overnight make me a star overnight by doing nothing society and mentality that we live in and are surrounded by today too often so many of us only put up the front it's a facade it is a fake and it's plastered with a smile that says everything is great and my life look at my life and do you see my marriage and my children are doing great and oh my home I just bought another one oh yes my new ride and oh yes I just got promoted and everything is positive everything is wonderful everything there's no clouds in the sky and that's not reality for so many people it's just not reality and so, yes, share the video. Thank you. Thank you, cuz. And so she was honest enough to say it has been a rough year. I've learned about a lot of humility. But you don't know what the next person beside you, I don't care how long you've worked with them and they've been your co-worker, how long you've attended church with them and, and oh, yes, that's my pastor and I know him and oh, my goodness, this is my child, of course. We don't really know what's going on inside of homes, inside of marriages, inside of relationships. And so her, her response to all of that lack of knowing is just be kind to everyone. Be kind to people. It doesn't cost you anything but the impact that you can have on someone else's life because you took the time. You took the time to smile. You took the time to share something. You know, too often we say, well, anybody can do that. They don't want to hear from me. No, everybody can't do what you do. God designed you and planted you and positioned you right where you are, surrounded by exactly who you're surrounded by for a reason. And too often, if we do not let our light shine, 
our gifts, our talents, our kindness, our compassion, our strengths, if we don't operate in those strength zones, it looks dark, it looks bleak, it is discouraging. But only it only takes a little light to dispel darkness. It doesn't take a lot. Lynn is saying not a dime. It doesn't cost anything to be kind. Might cost you some pride. You might have to, to, to swallow your, mm -hmm, I told you so. But the impact that you have on the lives of others when you really don't know what's going on. And so I issued a challenge to my team as they know I quite often do. I hold these sessions called Moto Mondays. And they're personal and professional development, life, life, personal development characteristics or traits. But the, the challenge I issued, and I am offering it to you, and I'm hopeful that you take me up on it. That's right. That's right, Mr. Morton. Take me up on this. Here it is. This week, this week, be kind to someone outside of your family, outside of your loved ones, you know, me and my four and no more. So that's easy. That's easy to do that. I already like you. I already love you. Of course, I'm going to do a little extra for you. Go outside of yourself. Hello, Mary Bradford. I'm missing you tremendously. Only what you do for others will last after you're gone. It's so true. It is so true. If you gave me $1,000 but treat me like trash, I'm going to smile until those dollars are gone. And then what you left me with, the way that you disrespect, the way that you make me feel is what's going to be left. Let's flip the switch on that because we have the power to do that. Okay, we have the power to do that. So the challenge is to this week, go outside of your norm, go outside of yourself and do something kind. Be kind to someone outside of your circle of influence, outside of your loved ones in your family. Your BFF, okay, that's nice, but he doesn't count. She doesn't count. Even on the receiving end, I'm promising you this. You are going to feel so much better. It just feels good to do something nice for someone. Okay. So as we look around, these are, these are bleak times for so many. Bleak. And so uh, what you can do for one person, and I promise you, don't even pull out extra money from your pocket. Don't, don't try to do, and I gave someone a thousand dollars. Okay. Don't, don't even make it like that this week. I mean, simplistic. Pay it forward by buying their coffee. I, I, the person behind you has got like 25 items in the grocery store. Take the first two and say, I got you. I got you. You'll feel so good and they will. And just have them pay it forward. We are the answer to the problems. We never have to look outside of ourselves because we have every answer that is needed. It's already within. Okay, so that is my challenge to you. I'm imploring you to take me up on it. Hi, Heather. Take me up on it. Be kind to someone outside of your comfort zone. I guarantee you it will light a light. And it goes such a long way, okay? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing the videos. I am on a mission. I have an, a mission. It is to impact lives. That's my mission. And I take it very seriously. Impact means to inspire, motivate, prepare, activate, cultivate, and train. So every time you share, you're helping me with my mission. Thank you so much. And until next time, take real good care of yourselves. I would love to hear what you've done, especially if you did it anonymously. <laughs>